Well, hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Geek with Glasses Live. Today, I wanted to go over a couple of the new features that macOS Lion has brought to the table when it comes to interacting with your workspace and uh, virtualized spaces and launching applications with uh, the new macOS Lion. For those of you who remember uh, Snow Leopard and Leopard, we had the feature called Spaces and uh, Expose, which was a way to kind of organize your applications and organize your work environment and have multiple workspaces on your machine. They've kind of combined both of these uh, features in the new mission control. You access the mission control with the dock icon or by hitting the F3 button on your keyboard and immediately what you see along the top is uh, multiple desktops as well as the dashboard that you used to use with F4. Dashboard now has its own workspace and you can kind of click into that and see what's going on. Um, and then you've got multiple desktops that uh, you can work from. And as you can see, desktop one is, is just kind of an open slate. This is typically where I do my web browsing. And then off on my secondary monitor, I keep things like my Audium chat and my Twitter timeline and such um, up and viewable at all times. And anytime I want to do multiple applications, instead of having a cluttered desktop, like let me jump over here to desktop four, and you'll notice I've got um, uh, Instadeck right here in the foreground, but I've also got a copy of Evernote open as well as a copy of Pages open. So now when you actually open up the uh, mission control button or uh, what is replacing Expose, it gives you three miniaturized versions of the application. You can just click forward and that brings, you know, forefront so that you can actually work on that specific application. Now to create a new uh, desktop or to move an app to another desktop, you would just grab it and then drag it up to the desktop you want it to be on, click the desktop and then you're there. Now let's say we we're back over here on desktop four and we wanted to create a whole new workspace for a specific app. You could basically just open up your mission control, click off to the right here, it's going to open a brand new space and put that application out on it. So this is now desktop 10. If I wanted to get rid of desktop 10, I can just come up here, click on desktop 10, it'll go away, it automatically puts whatever foreground app onto desktop 1, and then again you can just kind of move things around and put it exactly where you want it. Um, if you don't want it on desktop 3, you just uh, click it, open up the expose, or not as expose. I got to start using the right name now. It's uh, it is now Mission Control and not Expose. So uh, Mission Control is kind of nice. I still have my nine desktops that I had uh, set up for myself earlier. You can also add new desktops by just going over here onto the right, click the Add button, and it drops a new desktop available for you to customize. If you are running a dual screen monitor setup, you have the same look on your other monitor at the top. You've got the secondary screens, and you could do the same. Uh, you know, achieve the same things from the secondary monitor as well. If you were just over, you know come over here to the right or to the left depending on where your secondary monitor is. So one of the other cool new features um, is very simple way to have multiple backgrounds. So if I wanted to have, you know, this is desktop, uh, I think seven was the number that I just chose. Um, let's say I wanted to have, you know, this cool black and white background for this desktop. I can just set that and then when I go back to my oh, uh, my uh, mission control, switch over to desktop five, I've got the, you know, the original desktop that I had up and running. Go to desktop six and I've got a new desktop. So you can actually separate each of your desktops. So if you're like me and you keep your workspaces organized based on kind of a themes like my workstation one is my my daily internet type stuff um so I keep a web browser, like I said, and my chat client and my Twitter client open. If you wanted to have like some type of a, you know, a backdrop to let you know that, you know, this would be web browsing and chatting or some type of a social networking type wallpaper or whatnot, you can have that set up. And then like, you know, my desktop three is, is where I keep my iTunes. So if I wanted to have like, you know, some type of wallpaper with like music or album covers or uh, whatever the case maybe is on there, you could do that as well, just to kind of give it a little bit more of a custom look. Um, and again, you access the mission control with either the icon on the dock or hitting F3, or if you have a trackpad for your uh, iMac, or if you've got a MacBook Pro, you would just use three swing, uh, a three-finger swipe up to access, um, and it uh, gives you instant access to the mission control. So mission control is how to keep things organized and uh, keep your workspace clean and uncluttered. I personally can't stand this type of a workspace where I've got all these applications open and they're underneath each other. That's why I've got nine workspaces and I just kind of open things up on the appropriate monitor. Um, one thing that I have found that is missing um, from the old spaces, there was a network control panel where you could assign applications. I could say, okay, I want Instadeck to open on desktop five and you could pin it to desktop five. Um, I haven't found a way to actually pin any apps to a specific desktop using the new mission control. 
that's something that I would definitely like to see in the future. Maybe I just haven't found the ability to do that. I can, you know, drag it over here and put it on desktop six and go, uh, you know, play with the app. But then the minute I actually click into the app and close it, um, it's going to open back up on whatever desktop I'm on. So it, it put me back on desktop one. And if I reopen Instadeck, um, Instadesk, it's going to put it on desktop one, but in actuality, I want it to be on desktop five. So I got to figure out a way to pin applications to a specific workstation. Um, once I get that, I'll be 100% satisfied, but I do like the way it works now. Uh, another way uh, to move in between desktops without actually opening up the mission control is just using uh, two fingers, actually three fingers, and swiping across your trackpad. And this will move you across your different workstations and applications that you may have open. So you can just swipe across and have access to those um, physical work, uh, work areas that you may have set up as well. So I personally don't do the swiping and the swashing because, like I said, I had apps dedicated to specific desktops. And then I would just basically click the app in the dock and it would take me to the appropriate desktop top to give me access to what it was that I was looking for. So um, I like Mission Control. It's pretty cool. I liked what they've done with it. Uh, it gives it a nice new integrated feel where they put everything together. So okay, that's quickly. let's quickly jump over and let's talk a little bit about the launch pad. So for any, anybody who has an iPhone and uh, most likely if you're watching the video you've got an iPhone or you've got Android uh, so you have something similar or if you've got an iPad or an iPod uh, touch you'll know what Launchpad is. Launchpad is a way of accessing your applications and this is swipeable by your mouse or your trackpad left and right. It's groupable just like in iOS so as you can see I created a group called Microsoft Office here. I've got uh, my browsers in one, I've got iWork and iLife all put in another and this works just like if you were on your iOS um, platform, you would basically just grab an application, hold it, it jiggles, you drag it and drop it, it creates a group, gives it a name, you can come in here and customize the name, um, and you've got a new group where those uh, applications res uh, reside. Now, again, if you wanted to drag something out, just like in iOS, you would just drag it out and drop it, and that grouping goes away. You can move these uh, from screen to screen, you can click it, hold it, and drag it off to the right, and drop it, uh, drag it back off to the left, and drop it depending on you know how you want to do your organization. So I pretty much just kind of spent a few minutes organizing this a little bit. I've got my third pages, my application, or my games. Um, second page, I've just kind of moved things around. So this gives you a nice quick way of uh, launching applications. You know, typically the way we launch our apps is we put them in the dock for obviously our most frequently used applications, and you want instant access to it. And then you've got your applications listing, um, depending on how you have it set up on your machine. I have mine in a list. You can have it set up as a fan or a grid or however you want. Um, this is a quick way to uh, access your applications and again this is something that you can do via the launch pad button in the dock or if you use three fingers plus a thumb and you pinch in on your trackpads it'll give you access to launch those applications as well. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to quickly show those two features. That's Launchpad and Mission Control and the new Mac OS Lion. I'm actually going to complete a series of videos kind of talking about some of the cool new features that Mac OS has brought us um, and our usability. And I'll definitely talk about them and, and give you my opinions on whether I like them or not. I don't find myself thinking I'm going to use Launchpad very often because basically I keep the apps that I use on a day-to-day -day basis in my dock. Um, but it will be a quick way, you know, it, it's actually going to be a little bit quicker than clicking the applications and scrolling to find an alphabetical order, an app that you want. Um, so I might actually use it for those non-everyday apps, um, you know, accessing my Word and my Office, you know, that type of stuff. I might actually utilize it. Uh, as far as mission control, I never really opened up spaces or expose. I don't use expose because I don't have five different apps running on a single desktop. Um, so I don't see myself using that very often. Um, and like I said, I kind of pin apps to a specific work area and, you know, the machine does it for me as far as switching over and finding the appropriate desktop for me to be on. So anyways, that's a quick look at uh, launch control or launch pad and mission control. For more videos on OS X 10 Lion, please stay tuned to Geek with Glasses, geekwithglasses.com. Actually, it's geekwithglasses.net. Um, Geek with Glasses on Facebook is Facebook slash Geek with Glasses and always on Twitter, twitter.com slash Geek with Glasses. Stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot and have a great day, guys.